Welcome to a quick overview of sense and meaning in the learning process. As educators, we need to determine ways of retrieving information from working memory into long-term storage. Classrooms don't lend themselves to survival or many emotional elements. So what other situations can we look at to determine if the content makes it to long-term storage? According to Dr. Sousa, there are two questions that determine whether an item makes it into long-term storage. Does this make sense? And does this have meaning? Making sense is the first concept. When a student says, I don't understand, it means the student can't make sense of the learning. It does not fit into what they know about this topic and their past experiences. The second concept draws us to the question, does this have meaning? Why should they remember this? If a student is asking, when will I ever use this, then they don't see the meaning of storing this topic for the future. Sense and meaning are independent ideas. Things can make sense in the short term, but have no meaning for the future. Likewise, things can mean a great deal, but make no sense in the present. Things that make sense but do not have meaning have a lower chance of long-term storage. For example, we might well know how to solve equations such as 2x plus 3 equals 13, but we might never recognize when we would have to know such a thing. Things that mean something but do not make sense also have a lower chance of long-term storage. For example, the threat of a poor grade on a spelling test means something to a grade 6 student. He or she can do well at memorizing the spelling regardless of understanding or making sense of the words. Of the two concepts, meaning is the more important. Meaning often comes with emotional connections. You might watch a lot of movies or many TV shows, but the ones that make an emotional connection to you are the ones that you are more likely to remember. The probability of storing information varies with sense and meaning. It is possible to remember something even though it makes no sense. It is very likely you will remember something if it has meaning. Teaching with the ideas of making sense and giving meaning ensures that we have a chance of getting information into long-term storage. Show what you know. Reflect on the following questions. How does the activity make sense to your students? How does the use of technology enhance this understanding? What meaning can you connect to this activity for your students? How does the use of technology support a student attaching meaning to this new learning? 